Hi everyone, my name is Philip and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the EVGA 2000 watt G Plus power supply. A special note, this power supply only runs on 200 to 240 volts, so it can't be used in countries with a 110 volt plug. Let's start by taking a look around the box. Nothing too interesting there. There's a few specifications there. Uh, shows quite a high efficiency at about 50% load. And uh, looks like it's about just a smidgen under 53% efficient. Uh, the box does have an EVGA seal. I've cut it already to make it easier opening. Okay, let's have a look at the package contents. We've got one big box here. Uh, that must be the power supply itself. And then we've got an instruction manual. Let's have a quick look through the manual. I've managed to crease my page already. Bit of legal stuff, nothing too interesting. All right, fairly detailed instructions on how to plug it into your motherboard. Uh, we'll skip all of those bits. There's a little uh, question and answer page. And uh, it gives you uh, uh, a breakdown on the different cables. So I might just read these out because there's so there's one ATX 24 pin connector, two uh, EPS ATX 12 volt connectors for the CPU. There's uh, four um, six plus two pin connectors, and then there's six plus two pin connectors, but they're times two, so they're splitters. Uh, four SATAs, uh, another five SATAs, four Molexes and a Molex to floppy disk drive adapter. And then um, just some general information on the specs. So it can basically pump out 166 amps on the 12 volt rail, just under 2000 volts on that rail. And then it goes into another language. Let's take a look at the main power supply itself. Uh, it comes in this nice bag. Let's undo that. All right, let's have a closer look at the uh, connectors here. So we've got uh, 10 connectors labeled VGA. So there's 10, uh, 10 eight pin connectors. Um, let's see, we've got uh, two labeled um, GPU here. And then um, the bottom ones down over here are peripheral one, uh, peripheral two, SATA two, SATA four. And then over here, we've got the uh, typical motherboard connector and the CPU connector. If we flip the power supply around, we've got that spec sheet on the side of it again. Uh, you've got the, these, um, these power supplies have an economy mode switch. And what that does is it causes the fan to turn off or um, if it's not got enough load. Uh, and then of course your normal power switch. Uh, and then just another uh, spec sheet. Okay, let's have a look at the cables. All right, so there's a lot of cables in here. I'm going to uh, unpack these and then come back again. Okay, so we've got uh, six of these uh, eight pin to dual six plus um, two pin, sorry, six plus two uh, eight pin cables for hooking up uh, like GPUs and the like. Uh, the cable's 16 AWG. I really would have preferred Sorry, the cable's 18 AWG. I really would have preferred thicker 16 AWG cables for a 2000 watt power supply. Uh, so I think EVJ could do better in this area. Uh, the next is we have these, um, four of these uh, straight eight pin to six plus two pin connectors. Also uh, 18 AWG. Uh, once again, I think for this kind of size power supply, EVJ really could be shipping 16 AWG instead. Next up, we have the uh, standard uh, motherboard connector. Nothing too interesting there. Then we have uh, a couple of these uh, SATA connectors. So you got your one plug there and one, one, two, three, four, uh, five um, SATA connectors hanging, sorry, one, two, three, four, you yeah, five SATA connectors hanging off that cable. 
actually we've got a second cable with five SATA connectors on it and then uh, another SATA cable that's got one, two, three, four connectors hanging off it. Uh, they also supply a, um, a little connector with the, that simulates the power on button. So if you wanted to hook up like a water pump and uh, power on the motherboard without um, having to connect up the rest of the computer, for instance, to purge out air out of a system, uh, you've got that ready already. Uh, so you've got your standard uh, plug. Uh, interesting enough, the plug that goes into the uh, power supply power supply is rated at uh, 16 amps, but the um, cord they're using is only got a uh, one millimeter core. Let's just see if I can spot that little bit. I don't know if you can see that, uh, see that there, that little, where it says it's got a one millimeter core. Uh, certainly in my country, one millimeter is the smallest core size you can use by law. And it's disappointing to see that on a large power supply like 2000 watts, they're using the smallest possible wire size that the law will allow. If you still happen to have something that uses a, uh, uh, like a floppy connector, then uh, there's an adapter for plugging one of those things in. There's a couple of cables for plugging in uh, CPUs. Uh, most motherboards will only use one, but if you happen to have a, a dual CPU socket motherboard, or um, you've got a motherboard that's um, designed for overclocking, uses a lot of power, then you've got two of those. Uh, there's several of these Molex cables supplied, one, two, three, four connectors on uh, uh, each end. You end up with four Velcro ties that are EVGA branded. I think this is actually really good of uh, EVGA to provide some uh, cable management because the power, when you've got this many power cables, uh, they are quite a thick um, bulk and you do need, need to do something to um, keep them all tidy. If you wanted to plug in uh, six GPUs into a mining rig, then you could use um, uh, three of the um, uh, cables with the uh, six plus two splitters on it. So three cables with two powers, two each would give you uh, six uh, risers powered. Um, then you could use these um, one to one cables with splitters. So you just put a splitter on it. So you've got four of those. One, two, three, four. So that would power four of those. One, two, three, four. So that would power four cards that had two eight pin uh, inputs or splitters. And then uh, that leaves you with two cables uh, where you can use the eight pin splitters. So that would power cards, uh, GPUs five and six. So that would give you six, uh, six GPUs, each with two eight pin connectors. And you'd end up with um, uh, one, um, one splitter cable um, as well. So in summary, there's a uh, couple of things I would like uh, EVGA to improve. I'd prefer they, uh, rather than using the smallest electrical core size allowed by law, that they change from using a one to 1.5 millimeter square cable, just considering it's a 2000 watt power supply. And I'd really prefer the all of the GPU cables would change from using uh, 18 AWG to the slightly larger um, 16 AWG cable, it's just uh, more efficient and this um, because 16 AWG will generate less heat in the cables and in the connectors, it'll be slightly safer. So I hope you found the unboxing of the EVGA 2000 G Plus uh, useful. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you another time.